So like, man, this dude just recently said any man that has sex with a woman because it feels good is gay. Sex is for making children. Man, that as the re- as the representative <laughs> of a honey pack, man, tell me. I'm coming out. What do swinging. you think about that statement, man? You can go ahead and take the yeah, yeah, no, Jordan. I think I think, you know, people just be reaching, bro. They be trying to they be trying to start. They be trying to start stuff, bro. They say I'll let this shit to get a reaction out of people, bro. Cause that mm-hmm. that comment don't even make sense, bro. Mm-hmm. I agree. That comment I don't agree. make no sense at fucking all. Like, what? Especially when you're the king of the honey packs, you know he ain't trying to hear that shit at all. <laughs> bro, where the fuck a honey pack come from, bro? I mean, I know where it come from, but like, what the what was you on when you came up with the concept and vibe for that record? Uh, Sada said, Sada said, uh, honey pack. I I named it honey pack because our first in our first in our first song. We said something about a honey pack, and then in the second song, we said something about a honey pack or two. So I was like, fuck it, we call me honey pack. Mm. <laughs> that right. What's up with y'all videos? Y'all like the Buster Rhymes of Detroit right now, bro. What's up with the videos, dog? Man, what's crazy is, bro, I got so many slept on videos that that's just out there right now that mm-hmm. that I've been wilding on. Like, y'all just got to check them out. I really, like, my videos, my visuals be different from that. Crazy. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't just stay in front of a camera and rap. So you know I was gonna come crazy with uh, I'm talking about with crazy. Sada for sure. Like, no, for sure. Yeah. Nah, straight up. That's that's what sets you apart, I think, from a lot of the other artists, you know, in the city. As mm-hmm. far as your stage presence, your performance, you know, your creativity. Like you said, with you know, the oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, nah, go ahead. You, you know a vibe he gave me like Detroit house party vibes. Y'all old enough to like mm-hmm. yeah. the old yeah. 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 niggas. You know yeah. boop, boop, like, we can go on the house party <laughs> and, you hear that side? You hear that honey pack? You know you hear what's that jungle happening. inside of like, oh man, God. that shit all night, bro. bro somebody just called me. Somebody just called me the Detroit shit, shit, shit so that we need to right listen. Now. Somebody that's just called us. me the Detroit Uncle Luke. Nigga, you no, are. Yeah, yeah, I said, dog, that's hard, bro. Because hey, I fuck with my baby Luke. Like, and it's so yeah, crazy nah, to crazy. see you that's walking the, into uh, this, y'all. Y'all got it. So for me, right, it's a little different because, like, I first heard about Jungle through Flashy West, my cousin. Shout out to Cuz. That's yeah. our cousin. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Same. I fuck with him. Shout out to all Flashy West. You know what I mean? We were about to do a. Uh, I was doing my album release for I think it was like Ultra Lit One or it was Ultra Lit Two, and just so happened COVID hit right the day of or something mm-hmm. like that, and then we end up hooking up. But from that point on, I have been. And watching this man's career evolve like he was like okay that's little bro i'm gonna have an open for me now i'm like damn i probably ain't gonna have to open for him now like <laughs> within two years of him just working hard bro so i i'm proud of why of the evolution of watching it online and you know what i'm saying we talk sometimes mm-hmm. on instagram yeah. i'm like bro that shit hard whatever the vibes you know what mm-hmm. i mean but just watching the evolution bro i have enjoyed this shit and i want you to hear from me while you're here mm-hmm. bro you going all the way